Today we're going to do a quick video and show you how to clone over an existing site instead of creating a new site. To do this you'll need the free NS cloner and then you'll need the add-on called content and users. And we can see the add-ons here and so the content and users is going to be the one we're going to want to activate which is down here. Once that's installed and activated you'll come back here and you'll notice that you now have a new cloning mode called clone over an existing site. And so just like it states instead of creating a new site you're going to choose the source site and then the target site or sites that you want to clone over. So in this case we could choose never settle demo and then we could choose to clone over let's say these three sites and then down here we can uh, we get our advanced settings where we can choose what kind of things we want to clone over. We don't actually have to clone over the entire site. We could choose to only clone posts or only clone pages or down here we could we could uncheck all of this we could say let's only clone and add new users to all these sites or add users from the parent site to the child site. Um, down here we have the option if we only want to clone the media files and then you have every combination thereof in between but this is a quick simple way to clone over an existing site without creating a new one. A use case for this might be rolling out a new theme for all your sites in your network. Once you've installed that theme on your demo site, configured all the settings, got it tweaked just the way you want it, and then you want to roll that change into every other site or a group of sites, this is a quick way to do that. But the opportunity for this is endless. So let's do a quick demo and just show you cloning over an entire site. We'll make it nice and simple. We'll choose never settled demo as our target site. As you can see we have a really simple e-commerce theme on this site and content and then let's choose the site we want to override. Let's say we want to override never settle forward slash ns. So we'll put that in our browser so we can see it first. And as you can see this has the 2014 theme installed on it with no content. So we'll go back to the cloner. We have our target site selected and our source site selected above and we're simply just press clone over. Here you'll see we get a confirmation message that the clone over has indeed worked so we'll just load the site back up and as you can see this URL that used to have this old 2014 theme here now has the new content theme settings everything from our demo site forward slash demo and so I can just go over here and refresh this and you'll see that was the old cache and now the new site is indeed been cloned over. That's it. That's how you can clone over an existing site using the NS Cloner with the content and users add-on.